Well, hello, YouTube. It's me, Tri-State EDC. With uh, no box, no package, uh, no sack, but a little pouch. Orion Knives, this is the second, finally, the second episode of uh, the unpouching of a bunch of knives from Mike McLaughlin. Mike, thank you so much for sending these to me. Um, and today, what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna... Wait, what is it gonna be? We're just going on to the next one. What is it? It's a Kobe! That's right, a Kobe, a titanium Kobe, a pimped out, plumped up Kobe. It's been a while since I've had a, a Kobe on the channel. First off, Tiger Stripe Anno uh, going on here, a little Tiger Stripe action. Kobe logo, KB, titanium, titanium backspacer, lanyard pin, nice uh, titanium pocket clip there. Again, a little Tiger Stripe action going on. I approve, I like that. Really nice jimping here on the blade spine. Really nice, real fine, real grippy, grabby, big fan. Front flipper, flick and hole, very nice. Future me, I have no idea what this is. He sent me a note that I have lost. So I have no idea what this is. Uh, future me, good luck. We're going to dive right in and we're going to figure it out as we go. Very nice looking knife. I like Kubi. They do good work. They do a lot of really awesome OEM work. Stuff for Devo knives. Um, amazing budget knives. Not sure what this is or how much it costs. It feels nice and expensive. But we're going to flick her open. Ooh. Oh. 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 I, um, uh, uh, help. What is this called? Oh, this is a Colin Maison Pierre design. Uh, CM, CM Designs. Uh, who is one half of Devo Knives, really talented designer. Uh, fuck, what is this called? The uh, M390 on the blade, too. Nice, it's a bead blast finish on the blade. Not my favorite, but wor it works. It gets the job done. Internal milling to keep the weight down. Very nice. What is this called? Farts, dude. Big ones. Very, very nice. I like the size a lot. Let me show you a size comparison real quick. Uh, Spyderco Para 3. Very nice. A uh, little bit, well, right about the same size as a pair of three lengthwise. Where is Buckwild Tactile uh, Knife Co. Rockwall? Little bit bigger than the Rockwall, but a perfect EDC size. Nothing crazy. Three, three and a quarter inch blade. Big fan. I like the size. I like the looks. I like the size. Very, very nice. Uh, nice tall flat grind. Christ, that's going to piss me off that I cannot remember what this is called. Future me, it's on you now. Action is killer. Holy crap. But first, Ergos in hand. Yeah. Feels good. Choke back. Full four finger grip there. Easy peasy. Feels good. Locked in. No real hot spots or pinch points. Again, love that jimping. Super grippy. Gr really grabs onto the thumb so you can't scooch back and forth. Feels nice. F uh, we have a sharpening choil. So choking up, no real finger toil. Choking up's a little suspect. A little, I'm a little skeptical on it, but you can kind of, you can get right there. Thumb out on the blade, feels fine. Pinch grip? Uh, yeah, sure. 65% eh, of the day, pinch grip feels good. Finger out of the tip of the blade. Locked in. Pinky, wrapped around for extra support. Yeah, sure. Ergos are solid. All right, now then, action. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Running on ceramic bearings. Very, very nice. Reverse flick. Ooh, a little soft on the reverse. Like, hold on. Oh. Oh, there it is. You just got to get the finger placement right. Man, that thing drops. Thumb flick. D10. There it is. Nice and snappy. Front flipper. Oh, yeah, dude. Very nice. Very, very nice. Dude, Kubi does a great job with their action. They all, Even on their, their cheapest bottom of a barrel budget knives, man, the action's always been top tier. That is good. So smooth. Silky, silky smooth on those bearings. Very nice. Makes a great noise too. Acoustics. Nice and snappy. Very good noises. Titanium. Have I ever reviewed a Titanium Kubi? I don't think I have, but I, I'm i impressed, man. I am really impressed by this one. Um... M390 blade, M390 blade, nice tall flat grind. Kind of a sh reverse Tonto sheep's footy deal going on here. Good looking, good looking piece. Kubi usually does a pretty solid job with their uh, factory edges. D10, 
Decently thick blade stock, nothing crazy. I bet you she'll cut. Let me grab the phone book right quick. Oh god, I'm so sorry. Phone book. See if she'll cut. Yes. Yes, she will. Very much so, yes. Great. Damn. Future me, how much is this? What's it called? I know you've probably, oops, told me three times and it's in the video title. But uh, I'm impressed. Colin, always impressed by your work, dude. And Kubi has uh, the Vagrant's the only one I didn't really like. And the only reason I didn't like it because the blade steel sucked. This is great. M390, full titanium. I'm sure it's insanely reasonably priced for what it is. I, I dig it, dude. Action's great. Ergos are killer. Looks nice. Cuts well. What's not to love? Future Me will surely leave links down below to this knife for you to check out for yourself. If I can find it, discount codes will be down there as well. So check out the links down below. But that is it. Uh, thank you, Mike, once again for sending me a whole fart load of knives. You will get them back at some point. Eventually. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I'm going to keep them. Just kidding. I would never do that to you. But that is it. Thank you all oh so very much for watching. Subscribe, like, comment down below. Become a channel member, Patreon member. Uh, I'm on the Instagrams and the TikToks and the threads. I'm all over. Check it out. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye now. <laughs>